Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN. I just put on chapstick. I just wanted to show you guys real quick the differences in the concealer that I'm wearing. This is the Rare Beauty <laughs> Concealer in 320W, which is what the shade finder on Sephora matched me to their foundation. And I know that their foundation shades are supposed to correspond with their concealer shades. And so since the foundation said I was a 320W, according to Estee Lauder 4N2 Spice Sand and the Cover FX Power Play G60 and also the Becca Weightless Blur Skin Love Foundation, whatever that's called, that shade in Fawn, which leans red on me. So I was surprised that it still came up with the same number for the Rare Beauty. And so I wanted to just compare this to the Sephora Bright Futures Gel Concealer. And I always have to read it like I don't know what it is. And I've been using this for, I don't even remember how many years. But this color is Butterscotch number 11.5. And so I did receive this in the mail yesterday. And I looked at them and I'm like, this seems really yellow. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I do have under eye discoloration. And there are videos with me with no makeup on and nothing on at all. And so in those videos, you'll be able to tell. And so this one I really liked because it, it covered it up. So this kind of acts as a color corrector in a way and a concealer. Whereas this being a brightening concealer and having more of a yellow undertone, I was concerned about it making my under eye area look funky. And so I'm going to swatch them for you. Because when I swatched them, I was just like, okay, I'm, I'm going to need to send this back. But I put it on, it is a thinner consistency than the Sephora one, and it creased before I even was able to set it. And when I put on concealer, I just put a dot here and like a little swipe here. And so I don't do the whole, you know, triangle on the face thing because I do have under eye wrinkles and whatever I put there is going to crease. And so I put as little product as possible. And so, as I said, I put a dot here and a little line there and the same with this side with this concealer a dot here and a line here that's how I do my concealer then I pat it out and then whatever residue is left on a brush then I lightly sweep under but I do not put product directly under my eyes so anyway this is the 11.5 butterscotch Sephora concealer and this is the Rare Beauty 320W. So when I saw that, I was just like, oh my gosh. Because if I put something too light under my eyes, it just makes my discoloration look worse. It's brightening the darkness. And it's a weird kind of thing. And I think it may be due to the undertone. And so as you can see, the Sephora one... It's kind of peachy, well, more like a neutral. And so that's why I think it does act more as a concealer for my under eye discoloration. Because my undertone, even though my undertone is golden olive, my complexion, my overtone under my eyes is darker because of the discoloration. And so this cancels that out, I think, quite nicely. So when I saw this one and this being a brightening concealer. I'm like, I don't want my under eye discoloration to look bright. And so I was concerned. And it is significantly different. Like, do you guys see that? And so I put it on. This eye has been tearing horribly. So I put it on. And I think because this is really, it seemed sheer. It seemed really thin. And so a little bit went a long way. But then I did have to reapply well not reapply but I did have to go in and add more because it is so thin and so that had me concerned as well and that might be why over here it creased before I was even able to set it and in person my skin is really dry today and I'm not sure why and so in person I am just completely like casket ready <laughs> and so I put on extra powder well an additional powder to just put more color back in my face. I did use um, the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray 24 Hour Wear, and I think that kind of just helped it look more dry as well. I did use 
the Estee Lauder foundation, which is a matte foundation, but I did put a drop of beauty oil in it. And so, but for some reason, like my skin is just really dry today. My under eye area is also really dry. I don't think it's translating on the video, but I just wanted to show you guys like how <laughs> these two <laughs> look on my eyes. Like they almost look the same. I think the Sephora one does give me more coverage. I think this side is more natural, which means you can see more of my discoloration in comparison to this side. I think this one balances out um, my complexion, whereas this side, it, it does have a brightening effect. Again, it is more natural, and I know Rare Beauty is supposed to be geared towards a natural look. And so if I wanted to have that natural look, this would work. If I want to have a little more coverage and a little more evenness, which is the point in me wearing foundation anyway, is to just trying to get my face a little more even, then I would go with this one. The reason I wanted to try this is because I believe the Sephora one is $14. The Rare Beauty one is $19. The Sephora, you get 0.13 ounces. The Rare Beauty, you get 0.25 ounces. And so, so for $5 more, you're getting twice as much product. And so that was my thought process in trying this to see if I like it enough for this to become my go-to concealer. So I am going to wear it again on another day and do a look and put one on one side and one on the other and just see how I feel about it long term. Or within 60 days because <laughs> if it turns out I don't really like it I will just send it back even though it was only $19 and so that's it for this video thank you guys for watching let me know your thoughts on our products um, the reviews on Sephora that I've seen are mixed some people are loving the foundation however the ones that I've seen where they do a, a wear test they're not liking the foundation as much as when they first apply it and some people like the concealer some people don't and I think it just really goes to what it is you're looking for are you looking for the brightening are you looking for a more natural are you looking for a thinner consistency or a thicker consistency um so yeah so it's, it's preference is what it boils down to I'm just really surprised at how different <laughs> these shades are and they kind of look the same I don't know if this oxidized or what but I think it's looking okay it's looking more natural because I do see a little more discoloration under this under this eye but I'm not hating it though but I'm babbling I'm gonna go you'll see me in the next video thanks